are starting to get to the nitty gritty now. Only four teams remain alive in the cup, and the scene is set for what should be an exciting semi final. Who will make it through? Stay right here. We'll have every kick of the ball from the Juventus Stadium on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And the tension is palpable because we've reached the semi-final stage of the UEFA Women's Champions League. This, the first leg. It's Juventus, and they take on Arsenal. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game, and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Well, the midfield diamond looks strong. Plenty of energy, good technicians, and some defensive qualities as well. If they play well, the front three will get a lot of service in what is a 3 4 3 formation. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. And so the battle commences. Paulina Krombiegel. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Fox Kyra Cooney Cross Alessia Russo intercepting it intelligently Cantore Lenzini Anna Benison, Caligaris, Cantore, Benison, and a strong tackle. Kyra Cooney Cross. Frida Mornu. Kim Little. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Well, we're talking about a top-class player. We enjoy watching her, and she'll hope to bring her influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, what more can I say? She's a top-class finisher. Composed, technically brilliant and determined. Fantastic player.
Mornu. Frida Mornu. Coney Cross. And that's an important intervention. It might be on for them. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Played over. Well, still an issue here. Fruitful looking attack. Well, that's the sign of a well organized defense. Promising looking attack. Frida Mornu. And they're almost inviting them to come at them. Big chance! And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Cantore Rumbigel On to Caruso Could be threatening And it goes To square the game What a contest this is turning out to be Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Mornu. Katie McCabe. Frida Mornu. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And let's give credit to the defending. Denison. On to Girelli. Hannah Benison. Now with Caruso. Good patient build up as they try to fashion something. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. And there the move ends for now. This might be ideal for the counter. She fancies it. Somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Trying to pick out a teammate. Danger still on. It's a neat move. 
McCabe. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Oh, that's a fine-looking pass. Oh, totally committed, but still dangerous. Nice weight on the pass. Oh, she's done it! She's made it a hat-trick. A milestone occasion for her, and she deserves all the credit going. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Paulina Krombiegel. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Passing it well. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Fox. Coney Cross. Alessia Russo. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Oh, splendid skill, but no damage done, that's the main thing. Benison. On to Cantore. So, half-time it is, the end of the first half here in Turin. Well, I must say, that was an absolutely unbelievable first-half performance that she put in. Interested to get your verdict. Well, that was a magnificent display from her. Not just because she scored a hat-trick, but her all-round game was so inventive. It was so clever, and it was full of skill. Just how many times will she... So, back underway here, into the second half. Monum. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. And they will make the change now. And over comes the corner. Clearance needed to be better. Me. Fruitful looking attack. Nicely blocked. And there's the delivery. Sound piece of goalkeeping.
Ariana Caruso. Not there to intercept. McCabe. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Takes aim! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Time for a change then. Who can they pick out? That's a useful cross. Not the most confident clearance. And a loss of concentration. Well, that's the sign of a well-organized defense. Lehmann. Denison. Now with Girelli. Perfect challenge. Coney cross. Mornum. McCabe. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. And into the last 30 minutes now. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And players waiting in the centre. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Mornum might lead to a chance. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Paulina Kronbiegel. And Little. Beth Mead. And she's in a decent position. An important interception. Ariana Caruso. Alicia Lehmann. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Benison. Ariana Caruso. Well, this is better, but they need to make the pressure count now. Succeeded in blocking it. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Corner kick played in. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Beth Mead, Fox, Russo, here's Little now, Mariona, well that's one for them to pursue, Well, nothing comes of it. Alicia Lehmann. Viola Caligaris.
Emily Fox. Beth Mead. And options in the centre. Still looking for space. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Played over. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Martina Rosucci. Now with Caruso. Girelli. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Frida Mornu. Well read to win possession back. Given away again. Mariona. Could be troublesome. Oh, she's in here. A goal! An exceptional performance this. Four to the good now. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Rosucci. And so the referee confirms that this first leg is officially over. Just what the away fans were hoping for. Now they've got to hold their nerve when the action moves to their patch next time round. Yeah, and what a performance it was. You can see the confidence in these players. The belief has been growing with every game. This tie's not over yet, but they must know, barring a major upset, they're just 90 minutes away from the final now.